Spokane Indians pitcher Joe Rock has the name and the size to be an intimidator on the mound, something that has helped him become one of the Colorado Rockies top prospects. Travis Green sat down with Rock to hear about how his height helps him on the mound and tested the Pennsylvania native on his knowledge of Spokane. So Joe, we talked about you got the great name, Joe Rock, but you also are six foot six. There's a lot of intimidation going on here for you on the mound. Uh, how much does that help you pitching being that tall? Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of an advantage because I got long levers so I could you know, really come over the top or drop down, which you know, like as a shorter guy, they can't have my arms. So it's just a little bit of an advantage. Right, and for, for people that aren't huge on baseball, that kind of helps you hide the baseball a little longer. You get the extension, kind of jumps on batters a little more, right? Like, how much of an advantage is that for you as a pitcher? Um, I would say, you know, like me getting down the mound, I'm releasing the ball probably from 55, 56 feet, whereas another guy's releasing it from, you know, maybe 58 feet. So I'm getting a little bit further down the mound, which is um, makes it harder on the hitters to pick up the baseball. Right. And for you as a big lefty, are there any guys that you've like looked up to or gone back, watched their footage to kind of try to emulate? Yeah, I would say I've watched Chris Sell and uh, like a Josh uh, Hader probably. I do just because like we move alike and we're the same height in general, so I could pick up some stuff from what they do. Gotcha. Did you kind of do the arm slot like them? Oh, uh, at one point, but it just wasn't working out for me, so I just went back to what I was doing well at. Are you cool with doing a uh, little quick quiz on yeah, Spokane? for sure. How many questions you want? Let's do three. Three? Oh, he's going for all three. All right. What year did Spokane host the World's Fair? 1974. Yep, Let's you go. got it. Did you remember that or remember hearing that from Drew? No, I think I read it somewhere. I've been doing a lot of reading lately, so I just come across uh, certain things. Heck yeah, you got it right. Ding, ding, ding. That's the first uh, we've gotten right so far. Come on. <laughs> what does Spokane mean? Like, where does it get the name originate from, and what, what's its meaning? I know it means something from the sun, right? And a kid, and it ties back to the tribe. Boom. You got it, man. You, you're on a roll. So it means children of the sun after the Spokane tribe. Okay. You got it, man. It Here we are. It. <laughs> did really well right there. He did. By the way, if you want to see how Rock did on the third question, you better hop on over to our website or our YouTube page for the full interview with the pitcher. That's also where you can hear much more on everything Joe Rock. Also great name right there.